Okay, so this is a luggage rack that was my great aunt's. It's antique and it's been in my family for a long time. She used to use it as like a little tea tray. She'd put up a, a, um, like a serving tray on top and just put like little, you know, tea or coffee on it. And I'm actually gonna use it in a similar way. I might also use it as a luggage rack, but when I'm in my room, um, working or just want like a little dessert in here, I have something to sit it on um, instead of a side table because this is great. I can just fold it up and put it away. But um, the reason why I'm replacing these bands is you can see they're, um, they're really fraying up, but they're absolutely beautiful. It's almost like an Edwardian or Victorian silk ribbon that was used on here. So I want to, of course, keep and restore and maybe repurpose this maybe make like a bookmark something that's going to be like gently used because i don't know this seems so special to me um but i want to replace it with something a little bit more robust so i got this on um, like thick cotton almost like strapping but it's like it's kind of pretty it has almost like a little chevron detail within it very subtle strong um in this neutral color It'll go good with whatever I, whatever room I use this in. So, um, first things first is I need to cut strips and then I need to remove, I want to do one at a time so I can maintain the opening on this. Um, but I'm going to remove these little, they used a uh, nail, so I'm probably going to use a staple gun. But I have to get these out one at a time, so I think let's try to get one strap off and we'll go from there. This actually looks like it's going to be the hardest one to remove, so we'll see. <laughs> okay, so what I want to do is um, I want to cut the th I want to cut three strips of the ribbon. Um, I'm gonna cut three strips of the ribbon because I don't want to take all the ribbon off because then it'll just like open and close to however big it wants to be and I want to maintain this with an opening so I'm gonna give it like a one inch buffer to leave room to um I'm probably gonna like fold it underneath because these ends will fry for sure so I'm just gonna cut this into little strips with my scissors. I got three yards of this, um, this ribbon. And it was all they had left at the store, so. She literally just ended up giving me the whole entire roll. So that's three strips. Okay, so I have some pliers here. Maybe I can kind of like wedge them out, but I feel like I need to get something up and underneath the nail to take it out. But we'll, we'll try the pliers first. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to... Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get a good enough grip. I need like a flathead screwdriver or something to wedge underneath. I'll be right back. Okay, I brought in a few tools, we'll see. We'll see. I'm actually thinking I can wedge these underneath. We'll see. Definitely getting a grip. That was quite short. They're just like almost on like upholstery pins. A little bit rusted, but uh, so tiny. Look how little that nail is. To make sure not to lose these or step on them. Okay. One side of them. And they uh, they um folded underneath. You could see like the original fold here. They folded it underneath. I'm almost 
almost thinking I'm gonna seal the ends of the ribbon or straps that I got and then um I could even sew them down. Would that be overkill? I don't know, I like to do things like well, but like look how beautiful this is. So beautiful. And it's real silk too. It's just special. Okay. And what's great is I can use these, um, there's like three little holes on each side. I can almost use that as a guide to uh, make sure that I'm centering the new ones on. So I cut um, three little panels here. And what's the top and what's the bottom? So like I want to fold it over just like they did. And I have to make sure that the um, nail, I'm probably going to do, probably going to do two um, staples in each one on each side. So let's pinched it. Okay. Mm. So you guys can see here. So I'm folding it over, doing a little fold, and I'm, I'm lining it up in the middle of where those um, original holes were. I'm going to see how this goes. That's much better. Okay, and it's almost like I get a little bit more support because this has four prongs into it while the other ones had three. So I feel good about two staples in each strap. Now it's about maintaining this tightness. I think the hardest thing is maintaining the balance and the tautness within each panel. That's going to be my biggest um, hurdle here. I'm just making sure everything's even. I'm just going to measure this side. Three quarters of an inch. So these weren't even stapled evenly to begin with. So it is good that I cut them longer than they needed to be. Where the heck are my scissors? Right here. Onto itself. Three quarters of an inch. Yes. That 
that looks pretty good. It does sag a bit more than this though. Quite a bit more. Hmm. I think this sags a lot too. Okay, so I'm just gonna work my way down the line. I'm gonna do the middle one next. Okay, so that's two on, and then I'm going to cut the last one a little bit shorter to match. It is absolutely pouring outside right now. This last one is in the worst shape of all of them. I think someone tried to repair it before the way this one is done. The nail's embedded. I don't know if I'll be able to get this last one out. I'm going to do the same thing, three quarter of an inch distance on the end. Okay, it's done. Looks really good. Let me flip this, flip this around and show you guys a little bit better view. Okay, so you can kind of get a little bit better view of the whole piece here. And the ribbon, and the wood frame. I wonder where she got this from. She traveled a lot. I'm wondering if like she took this from a hotel back in the day. Um, she's not alive, of course, so I can't ask her, but I would love to know the story behind this. Um, but I love it, and, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get so much use out of this, and I think she'd be glad to see that it's, um, repaired and that I'm gonna do something with it. Okay, and this is it, styled up. Can't wait to just sit here and relax and use it. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.